this video lesson we will again practice on worksheet but this time a bit different if you recall in our last video we practiced to convert beads into numbers on a practice worksheet it's time to practice reverse that is how to convert numbers into beads so let's start here we can see digit rods we assume that the rod at right side is home digit rod that represents ones if we move towards left side the rod present here represents tens and then hundreds we will take three examples then you can practice on worksheet by your own here you can see number 7 number 7 belongs to ones family so we will make beads on ones rod draw a bead above the beam as it represents 5 and then below the bar 6 and 7 5 6 7 it's 7 Let's practice one more. Here is number ninety-four. Four belongs to ones family, and nine belongs to tens family. We will put beads accordingly. Draw four beads below the beam to show number four. One. Two, three, four. Now on tens rod we have to show ninety. Draw a bead above the bar as it represents fifty, and then below the bar sixty, seventy. Eighty and ninety, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. It's ninety-four. Let's take number six hundred and thirteen. Three belongs to one family. One belongs to Tens family, and six belongs to hundreds family. Here again, we will put beads accordingly. First, draw three beads to represent three on ones rod below the beam. One, two. then move towards tens rod to show number 10 draw a bead below the beam it's 10 lastly hundreds rod draw beads on hundreds rod to show 600 first one above the bar as it represents 500 and then 100 below the bar which together makes 600 500 600 c now is representing 613 i hope these practice reinforce your concept of converting number into beat Now you can do the worksheet by your own. Don't forget to write time taken each time.